Silva Bassi breaks the Guinness World Record for longest cooking time. Coming on after this, we have P Square opens up on lessons learned since their reunion. But before I commence with this hot gist, welcome to Aproco DCV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on trending latest matters happening on social media. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our next video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Aproco Gist to all our wonderful returning subscribers. Much love for me here. Thank you for your consistency and support. We do not take you for granted. Now to all our viewers, relax, enjoy, and stay tuned. Hilda Bassi has officially broken the world record of the longest cooking hours, initially held by Lata Tondon. She started on the 11th of May last week. Thursday, she was determined to break the former record of 87 hours and 45 minutes set by an Indian lady, Lata. She began cooking and cooking and people shared and came out to support. And of course, you will also see negative people who condemned the act and questioned why she was doing it. This act of hers brought individuals from different tribes all over the nation together in one place to join hands and support her. The cooking act that some people questioned and asked what she would gain from it made over 18 brands to partner themselves with her the first day went by the second the third day and she was visibly tired she has been cooking non-stop with only five minutes rest every hour that is approximately two hours worth of rest per day she has been resilient withstanding the fact that she is visibly tired she continued with the help of her staff and the chairs of the nigerians she pushed further words have been spreading concerning these attempts by hilda social media has been going on full rampage buzzing with supports Hilda now not just Nigerians people from all over the world all over Africa those in other continents even the initial world record holder Lata took to their phones came online supported and cheered on Hilda to push harder being visibly tired and extremely exhausted but having the strength of thousands and possibly millions of souls around her gave her the strength she didn't give up and her staff didn't give up too she pushed further pushed harder and even when her body was tired to break down she continued striving now it's the fourth day it has surpassed the former record time hilda has officially broken the record of longest cooking and she did not stop there no she is still cooking she wants to set her own record her target is 96 hours that is nine hours longer than the initial record of course everyone is still there physically and on social media to cheer her on it is no longer a matter of if but a matter of when here are some of the things you should know about hilda and her guinness world record marathon cooking first of all her real name is hilda basi efyong she is a young nigerian chef from Akwaibom state she owns a food brand in lagos called my food by hilda she has been cooking for four days non-stop she must stand to cook she is not permitted to sit while cooking she is not allowed to take coffee stimulants or any energy drink to artificially boost her energy and bodily strengthen her while cooking she is allowed to eat food drink water or fruit juice and take glucose the cooking is taking place at amora gardens lekki lagos state nigeria she cooks around the clock no sleep morning afternoon afternoon evening and night so it's four nights she won't sleep she just have five minutes rest per hour meaning every one hour she's entitled to just five minutes rest or break that's an hour break every 12 hours she gets 30 minutes break every six hours she spends the 30 minutes in a medical van which she just close by within where she can nap use the restroom and also get a medical assessment or checkup by the medical team available on the spot whatever she cooks is shared to the people at the venue for free she is not selling the food she cooks different meals she is at liberty to cook any meal she likes there are no restrictions as to what she can cook or not cook the world record title is about cooking within a time frame not about what is cooked as long as she is cooking she is on track every meal cooked and every plate served is recorded as she has cooked over 200 meals so far which is almost 4,000 portions if not more she started cooking on thursday and is expected to complete the target time frame by monday today 
4 p.m. in the evening. She tagged the cooking project Cook a Ton, a phrase literally coined from the word marathon. She appears exhausted already, but the people around her are cheering her on to boost her morale. They are available with her as she cooks 24-7 even at night. Most of the items, ingredients, utensils, etc. used for this project are provided majorly by her sponsors. So the money expanded on this project is not 100% from Hilda or her food brand. Uber, one of her partners, is offering a 40% discount ride to the venue for people who wishes to join and cheer her up at the venue. Hilda's mom is also a chef. She owns a food brand called Calabar Sports. Hilda is 27 years of age. I must commend this young lady's effort because this is beyond extraordinary. The resilience, the consistency, the energy and even the money, the financial asset that she had to put together to make this thing a success, it is beyond imagination. During this past few months has been, will I say a not so bright time for the country but this occasion has not just only bring people from different tribes together who are all rooting for her success and different celebrities who on a normal day you would pay millions to see have paved the way for young people for everyone in general to believe in hard work and resilience and you can achieve and be anything you want to be all you just need to do is put in the hard work in a blink of an eye she has turned a role model a queen and someone we can all look up to and be like if hilda can do it i can do it too she is what all the crowns and roses put together because of this admirable and amicable acts of her so kudos hilda you have left a precedent that people can look up aspire to become moving on after this guys we have nigerian music stars and twin brothers peter and paul okoye better known as the p square pop group have opened up about the lessons learned since their reunion and how it has changed some aspects of their life in a recent interview with cnn africa voices change makers the twin brothers revealed that they now prioritize investing in their individual businesses instead of spending extravagantly on luxury items as they used to the pop star p square group split in 2017 after a disagreement over a role of their older brother jude okoye as their manager however they reconciled in 2021 and held their first headline concert later that year speaking about their reunion peter mr p okoye said what happened is this if you know anything that happens to a group it is the same thing it doesn't change the fact that we are humans we are always going to look for that wind of change sometimes when it happens always take the positive part of things and drop the negative part why i say so is that i become more industrious peter also revealed that he has learned a lot from his solo career and has also invested in several companies he added in the next year or two i want to own the biggest casino in africa all of us are into real estate paul on the other hand stated that family issues not music were the cause of their 2017 breakup paul root boy okoye added now that we are back together as more money is coming in i know where i am putting it because then it was just with washi's chain and now it's different fans of the singers have welcomed the brothers reunion as their new focus on investing in their businesses you know as we grow older we tend to make more wiser and informed decisions that is exactly what is happening here with Peter and Paul. When they were younger, they thought that being a celebrity was more about looking lavishly, spending lavishly on wristwatches, cars, and the rest. But now that they are older, they know that setting and building a future for the ones coming after them, for their children, is what's most important. And that's why they have made the decision to invest more and enlarge their capacity. So guys, if you haven't already, let us know what your thoughts and contributions are in the comment section, whatever your opinions are do hit us up down below in the comment section provided for you and guys if you haven't what are you waiting for do subscribe to our youtube page at apokojis tv don't forget to like share and turn on the notification bell to get notified so you won't miss out when next you drop our next spicy juicy video for your pleasure and don't forget to follow us on our facebook page at apokojis where it's our duty to keep you informed and updated on trending latest spicy 
day happenings happening on social media thank you all so so much for seeing you with us up to this point we really do appreciate it and sadly we have come to the end of today's segment so i come your winners guys do stay safe